Oh man, today we're gonna be talking about some annoying things that happen to everyone. So go ahead, comment down below something annoying. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Here we go. Putting your feet on the armrest of a plane. <gasps> oh, girl, oh, that's disgusting. Girl, your feet, you nasty. Girl, if you don't get your nasty Bigfoot feet, Yeti nasty gorilla Sully from Monsters Inc. hair of feet up on out of here, oh, feet. This girl's got them lunch lady feet. Mm-mm, not today. Um, I'll have me an extra scoop of beans, please. Ah, okay. oh, ew! I'm sorry, man, but this is what happens when you sit in last class. Oh, we got him. That's actually not funny because I sit in last class. It's a problem. But girl, you need to get that out of here. Woo, man, but before we keep going, go ahead, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to get the dang dog link in the description below, crowdmade.com slash dangmattsmith. There's only a few left, so get there and get one. And yeah, let's check out another one. Oh, these wide open bathroom stalls where you can literally see the person taking a poo. Oh, ew, that's disgusting. That's really annoying. I don't know why like public places, public bathrooms are just super cheap with this stuff. Close the door. Like fill in that little gap, seal it up, you know, make it nice and, and private rather than being able to see people's privates. Oh man. At the top it says, I might as well just poop with the door open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could, but uh, you know, I mean, uh, apparently that's frowned upon. Have you guys ever like been in a public bathroom and you check to see if somebody's in there and then all you see is just, how you doing? It's probably the most uncomfortable situation you can be in when you lock eyes with somebody while they're, you know, taking a taking a nasty doo-doo. You know, it's gross. I don't wanna have a staring contest while you're handling your business. Ew. Another kid sitting in last class. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? You guys need to get upgraded. I mean, check with your, you know, check with your airline. Sometimes, you know, they have open seats up in first class. You might be able to get bumped up. Little boy, why are you wearing that hand-me-down pilot? jacket. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got him, I got him. Boy, you look like you just lost your pilot's license. I mean, as you should, because you're, you're just making that face that's like, you know, uh, don't trust him. We too booked a window seat on an airplane for my boy's first flight. Oh, and he can't even look out the window. I'm sorry, little boy. But that's what you get for wearing a jacket that you got from the Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. I'll stop roasting this little boy's jacket. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a nice jacket, okay? You know, what, what does it say on there? F-170? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. F-14, F-117, that's cool, man. You're first, you know, you're, you're, anyway, I'm done, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. It's okay, little boy, I ain't really got style either. So, you know, we on the same boat or the same plane. Mm-hmm, let's go. Oh, jeez, it's the man from that movie Ratatouille. What you doing up in here, man? It says, I work in the kitchen. You have no idea how many people say you look like the guy from Ratatouille. Oh. Oops, I'm sorry, man. Maybe you should get like a different hat. Why is your hat so high? Like, why, why can't you just wear like a normal, you know, snapback like me? A snapback in the kitchen? Yeah, man, you'd be the freshest one in the kitchen. All the black people would be coming to your restaurant. You know, uh, maybe, uh, probably not. They probably still wouldn't come. Unless if you serve a lot of fried foods. This man is looking at me like I just stole his girlfriend. I mean, I did, by the way, but you know. Yeah, sorry about that, man. Shouldn't have let her out of your sight. Mm-hmm. Bro, you're hair is curlier than some jack-in-the-box curly fries. Man, that, that sounds kind of good. Hey Siri, remind me to get some curly fries after filming. Yeah. It's all good, man. Look, you look like the rat from Ratatouille. Or, I mean, you look, you look like the guy from Ratatouille, not the rat. I mean, you kind of look like a rat. Anyway. What in tarnation Sam Hill, Holy Miley Cyrus, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph is this? You went to the vending machine. Like, what? Did you try to order a Twix or you tried to order a drink? He probably tried to order both and then like the Twix done blocked the drink from making it all the way down. That sucks, man. So you're left hungry and thirsty. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's okay, it's okay. That's a ghetto vending machine. If your snack gets stuck, I mean, like, like, are you serious? I don't know, man. Just like, you know, football shoulder ran that vending machine right in the glass and then, uh, you know, maybe it'll, it'll shake out. That's what she said. Yeah, never mind. Uh, scratch that. Here we go. Advanced Parking Solutions. And what is that? 
You can't even park, man. How did you get this job? This is like somebody working at Burger King and they don't even know how to flip a burger. How the heck are you just gonna park in two dang parking spots? There are no other cars out there. Is your glaucoma and your cataracts that bad to where you just can't see? Park straight, man. Jeez, there ain't no excuse for this type of behavior. Matter of fact, I'm about to go to their website. What, APSparking.com? I'm a file a complaint. Mm-hmm. I'll turn into a Karen real quick and, you know, I'll make sure you, you never work in this town again. Serious question, are there any black Karens? Like, like, I don't know, I haven't seen, I haven't seen a lot of, like, black women Karens. They're always white with, like, the short haircut. But yeah, hashtag stereotypes. When you buy the old neighborhood drug house, <laughs> what? This is no longer Adam's house. There are no drugs here. You are on camera. Okay, that's sketchy, man. So people are coming up, knocking at your door, and they're like, Hey, 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 how you doing, man? Uh, is, is Adam around? Yeah, yeah, looking for Adam. He has a special delivery for me. <laughs> That's kind of a nice neighborhood to be having a drug house. I mean, usually the drug houses are like, you know, in, in the ghetto ghetto. But this drug house is in the suburbs. I mean, man, it's looking nice out there. I mean, the grass ain't cut and, you know, there's a lot of dead spots out there. But, you know, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, so Adam, if you're watching this video, where did you move to? You gotta let your uh, drug clients know. Or maybe he owed people money. That's why he decided to leave. You know, he owed people money, so he had to move somewhere and he didn't tell anybody. It's okay, Adam. We all owe people money. I owe that restaurant money when I dined and dashed last. Uh, I, I mean, I mean when I when I when I sat and ate my food and then I paid the full amount and gave a tip to the waiter, but I should have given more of a tip. Even you know. Anyway. <laughs> After trying for seven years, I finally placed in my age group, coming in first. Congratulations. I asked a bystander to capture my triumph. Oh, and they took the photo with their finger in front of the dang lens. What the heck? Did you ask a grandpa to take this photo? I mean, I mean, this is what happens. You can't trust old people with technology. It ain't gonna work. That's sad, man. I hope you check the photo right after they took it. You always gotta check the photo and make sure it's good and Gucci. That outfit ain't Gucci. I know that for dang show. I mean, look, what, what is that? Red, white, and blue? Psh, who has colors like red, white, and blue? Psh. Oh, yeah, the United States of America. Yeah, my bad. It's okay, man. Could have been worse. But, like, why is your number, like, right in front of your ding dong? Like, what the heck? Number 43? Is that the number of times women rejected you? <laughs> It's okay, we don't know what you look like because the person covered your face with their finger. We should thank that person. I'm just kidding, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. The most annoying thing, as an usher, people who do this. <gasps> oh, okay guys, I used to work at a movie theater. I've worked at like four different movie theaters back in the day, and I swear, people who do this, it's like they just dump their bag of popcorn on the floor. Come on, y'all, I ought to hand y'all a vacuum and make y'all clean it up. But since I did my time working as an usher at movie theaters, this is what I do nowadays. When I go to the movies, I'm just like, mm, I know you ushers are bored right now. Let me sh give y'all something to clean up. I'm just messing around. That's, that's bad. Don't do that. You know, try to clean up. Try to, you know, take your trash with you and dump it into the trash can. Or order two large buckets of popcorn and then just dump it all over the theater. <laughs> huh. Jerks that cut in line. Oh, I do this all the time. What, you think I'm gonna wait all the way in the back of the line? Are you kidding me? Now, I don't know if you guys drive at all, but when you're on the freeway and you gotta get onto another freeway or you're about to miss your exit and there's like a long line of cars, I always pass the long line of cars and then just cut in at the last second. Because there's always that one person lacking. There's always somebody who's like, you know, not pulled up far enough so you, you can just squeeze right in there. So yeah, good for these people. I mean, look, look, I commend y'all for like, you know, just cut in. Somebody's gotta do it. I mean, I ain't gonna wait in line. What do you think this is? Roller coaster ride? Just cut in line. The worst they could do is honk at you. I wish the worst that girls could do is honk at me when I ask them out on a date. <laughs> but girl, you need to get that out of here. Yeah, man, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And click the links in the description below and get one of the dang dogs. Yeah, man. He's at crowdmade.com slash dangmattsmith. Go ahead and adopt one. But yeah, you guys be safe out there. Go ahead, check out another video, and I'm going to see you in the next one.
Peace.